today's video is going to be a, another Buff Bunny try on haul. It is going to be the stuff that I purchased in Buff Bunny's mid-year sale. I don't know what sale it was called. Maybe June sale. I think this happened in June. Maybe it happened in July. It might have happened in July, guys. I cannot remember for the life of me. I have wanted to have this video filmed so long ago, but I have just been so busy. I am so sorry because I know I've been like posting stuff and then like going missing for like a week or two or three and then you know posting stuff very randomly so I apologize for that I am trying to be better I have just been so busy with work with my like social life with like just doing things so I'm sorry and I am trying really hard to be better I also need to say I have recorded some other videos previously to this what I am recording right now that are going to go out after this I just wanted this to go out soon because the longer it takes to come out the more irrelevant it becomes so I'm going to post this one as soon as possible like I'm filming this today and hopefully it'll be out tomorrow or the next day not that you know when those are but I actually filmed the try on parts of this like three weeks ago because I was planning on filming the talking part then as well but I uh, it got really late in the night and then I had to work the next day and now it's like two three weeks later so here we are I've also had my hair done since then which you might be able to tell I'm not sure if you could but I just thought I'd let you know just in case you could tell I have had my hair like touched up I hadn't had my hair done since February so my regrowth was like like down here or something like that I didn't even know it was pretty far down it's slightly different than I got it done last time like last time I had more foils this time I had less foils but <laughs> I like it. I think it's really nice and I like this color at the moment. I might change it in the future, but right now I'm liking this like ginger sort of color, you know, like a coppery sort of light brown, dark blonde, not quite sure. But anyway, guys, let's jump into this. It shouldn't be too big of a haul today, I don't think. Like I did get a few things. I also have actually made another purchase from Buff Bunny, but it hasn't come and I made it like almost like over two weeks ago now and they haven't even shipped it, but it said it can take one to 15 business days to ship. So I'm like, I'm just, I think I'm on 14 business days. So come the next business day, which is Saturday today, so Monday or Tuesday. It's confusing because obviously it's America over there in Australia, you know, like different time zones. So maybe I'll give them till Wednesday and then I'll send an email being like, you haven't sent my stuff. Which is actually really surprising because every Buff Bunny order I have purchased has arrived within two weeks. Like, it's like shipped the next day and arrived within two weeks. And I didn't buy this, I didn't buy the stuff that I bought during like a busy period. I bought it after like a week after a launch. So that 70s launch. If you didn't know. So I've got some, hopefully I've got some that 70s pieces coming, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to film them because I haven't got it yet and I'm very worried that they're going to have sold out and not sent my stock. Like, maybe my order's been missed. Anyway, I will keep you posted about that because hopefully I will be filming a video in not too far a future of me trying on that 70s clothes. Anyway, <laughs> let's discuss the things that I bought in the sale. Because it was a sale, I kind of went like a bit crazy and I went through everything that was in my size. I always get a size medium, pretty much an active wear. I will tell you if it is not a size medium, but I pretty much just filtered the entire website by my size and like scrolled through everything that they still had in stock. Then I kind of just picked like my favorite things. So to start off with, I got the Monarch Sports Bra in the Vineyard Dark Red Bossy Print. It has this absolutely stunning, stunning back. I think they're like butterfly wing inspired because obviously Monarch is a type of butterfly and it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. And it does have a V neck as well. This is in the Nubro fabric as well, which is like my favorite active wear fabric of like all time like I buy so much buff bunny because it's like new bray and it's just so freaking soft like honestly I'm wearing the joggers that I have of theirs right now and this is in the new bray fabric as well and it's just so freaking comfortable like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing pants at all <laughs> like it's shocking really but Anyway, the Monarch Sports Bra is a medium support bra and it has moderate compression. So it feels super comfortable on and quite supportive as well. Like I felt pretty safe and comfortable in this sports bra. It does also have the logo printed on the side, just at the back on the left side there. I haven't worn this one to work out in yet, but I am pretty excited too because like it is freaking comfortable and it looks freaking cute. So 
I can't wait to wear it. Next up, we have the Synthesis Crop in Onyx Black. And it has like a full coverage sort of back. I would say it's a longish line sports bra. Like it has good coverage of like the top of the tummy sort of area. It has a ruched section on the front here just to make the girls look good. I also kind of like loved this bra. It reminded me of like dancing. When I was little I did dancing and we wear like leotards and they would always have this little ruching like just like at the top you know and like that was before I had boobs so it didn't really do anything for me but you know now it makes the girls look good. You can see the back as well is quite like full coverage like it's very like plain but it does have the buff bunny symbol up the top there just right near the neck i do actually quite like this back like i like that it's like quite like it covers a lot i guess if i'm having like a bad back knee day i can cover it up with this bad boy it's kind of like a little crop top too like you know it's more like conservative than the back and you've got your like slight cleavage like a nice v-cut seam with the ruche to enhance the cleavage so i think it's cute and like i said before it reminds me of my childhood of doing like dances and stuff like that in my little leotards so i think that's one of the reasons why i bought it also this was like in the clearance section it was like 30 australian dollars or something it was like really cheap so i was just like i'm gonna get it and it's newbury as well so that was like another reason why i bought it i think i was looking at it like oh that's really cheap and then i was like oh it's newbury it's gonna be comfortable and i have worn this to the gym and it was comfortable if i didn't say before as well it has medium support as well and i definitely like, do feel like quite safe in this bra as well and like very comfortable okay oh so this one's covered in cat fur i think my cat has been sleeping on it <laughs> next up we have the geo sports bra in onyx black as well it has such full coverage in the front like very high neckline it is listed as high support and it does have a medium compression as well if you were interested but it is just like nubre fabric again so incredibly soft almost everything that i bought in this haul is nubre fabric so <laughs> it's good guys it is freaking good but anyway <laughs> back to this bra it also has like a nice length to it i personally like sports bras to come down a little bit further like i personally find it more flattering as someone who does not have abs and if like they get too much pressure under the boobs it kind of like pops your skin out for me anyway like i don't think i've explained that well but that is what happens when i wear like a sports bra that like cuts off right under the boobs like i don't find it comfortable i personally don't think it looks very flattering on me either i don't know if that happens to other people but that's just how i personally feel when i wear them so i love that they have a, like long line sort of sports bras like i think they're just so like flattering like i find them personally so flattering on me they make me feel more comfortable like i'm more likely to walk around in one of these sports bras without like a t-shirt thrown over than i would be to walk around in a sports bra that just like comes up straight under the bust because like i just like that little bit of extra something something extra material to cover up the top part of my tum tum but anyway this is the only buff bunny bra that i have bought so far that has a clasp back so it has a like normal sort of bra class but it actually has three i feel like most of my bras only have two hooks and it gives you like the normal three choices as well for tightness but also i'm pretty sure every single one of their bras that have clasps on them come with a bra extender so if the three sizing options there aren't good enough for you like don't give you enough space you can just chuck on this bra extender and then that way you have more space and it is more comfortable and it won't cut it on you hopefully and this one also has the buff bunny logo on the side and it also has a beautiful beautiful strappy back i feel like all of their sports bras are just so pretty like even like this one like i like the way that buff bunny designs their bras because i feel like often they have like you know see like this bra they have a very plain front but then they have a very fancy back and I feel like it's like one or the other, like they like either there's like something to look at in the front or there's like something like nice to look at in the back. I feel like they're all so comfortable and they're all like supportive, like according to the level of support that they say, they're like, I would say they're definitely that supportive for me personally, usually. But there's always something, you know, it's like conservative on one side and then like, you know, 
sexy on the other so I really like that I just I think it's really nice like I feel like they do like they balance them all really well and like how this one has like the front like high neckline and then this one the synthesis one had like the full back but then the low neckline at the front like I'm just rambling here but honestly I like how they throw in like something pretty on like every sports bra that they make like a cute little like you know style like a feminine accent on like every sports bra it's not just like you know oh this is like an ugly sports bra that holds my boobs together this is like damn cute and it holds my boobs in place you know it's really really nice and i really enjoy wearing their active wear also i hadn't i didn't mention before every bra that i bought from buff bunny comes with the bra pads inside them and they are all removable as well so i think they're all side removable like they you go through like this side of the boob like here is where you pull them out just because i know the rosa ones they come out the top because rosa are my favorite i actually have three rosa sports bras i didn't buy any in this sale and I'm pretty sure the only reason I didn't was because either they were sold out of every medium in every color or the only mediums they had in the Rosa sports bra were colors that I already had. I'm pretty sure that was the case because otherwise I would have bought more because I love that bra so much and I part of it is probably because it is like the new bray fabric but also it's like what I said before about the long line I just feel so comfortable they make me feel like I look good and they're so supportive and they're just nice but saying that I've won the synthesis crop top to the gym and as I said before it was comfortable as and I really liked it but I haven't as of yet worn the monarch sports bra or the geo sports bra to the gym so they could be my new favorites i'm not sure and also i did really like wearing the synthesis i did really like the synthesis <sighs> so hard to say i did really enjoy the synthesis oh my god no i give up this bra the one that i have worn <laughs> that I said before that for some reason I can no longer say was very very comfortable I'm just gonna say the type the name here because I cannot say it right now so <laughs> it was very very comfortable I don't know if they're making more of these or not but I feel like the the ones that they had of these were in clearance so maybe these aren't weren't very popular but still comfortable and still looks cute if you ask me but anyway <laughs> Let's move on. That was all the bras that I got in this haul. So next up, I will take you through the leggings that I got. I only got one pair this time and they were in onyx black. And these are the legacy leggings. So for once, I didn't buy the Rosa leggings. I have two pairs of Rosa pocket leggings now and I absolutely love them. They're like my favorite leggings ever. The fact that they have pockets just, you know, makes them incredible and amazing. These leggings don't have pockets unfortunately but <laughs> these leggings are one of their most popular leggings and it is made from the exact same material as the rosa leggings so the nubra fabric again at least i can say that word because <laughs> i say it all the freaking time in these videos but these ones they're, they're probably almost exactly the same i think that these ones might be like the tiniest bit more compressive i'm not 100 percent sure you can see it as well the buff bunny logo is on the back but the main difference between this and the rosa leggings is that the seams on the back are slightly different so it's got this same v seam here that enhances the booty but the rosa one only has one seam whereas this one has three seams so it's just that extra enhancement to make your glutes look extra good and also it does have the same like seam straight down the butt too you know, slide in to the butt crack, as we like to say here on this channel, <laughs> awkwardly, every time. But honestly, I wore these to the gym the other week and they were so freaking comfortable. So freaking comfortable. I'm honestly not sure if these ones are more compressive than the Rosa ones, but I remember when I put them on, I was like, I feel like they might be a little bit more compressive, but I could be wrong. Let me see if I can go find my Rosa leggings and I'll see if I can compare them. Okay. So I found the last pair of Rosa leggings that I bought, which were the ones from the Sugar Rush collection. I believe this color was called Nebula. See, this one only has the one seam up here, but it's like the V seam compared to this one, which has the three in the back there. I will say I just noticed the stitching on the Nebula ones. I'm not sure if this is the same on my black ones, but you can see just the top seam the seam that goes like 
above the glutes, as we were discussing before, it's slightly different. It's a different type of seam and stitch than the other ones. I think you can make that out. Whereas this is like a normal sort of stitch. This one's slightly like risen. I don't know how to explain it. I'm doing a horrible job. I apologize, guys. So that is a difference that I did just notice about those. And I will say the Rosa ones, they feel slightly softer. Like the Nubro fabric just feels a little bit more like soft to touch and like eat like nicer. Whereas on the Legacy, just doesn't feel the same, but they have like the same level of compression. I'm just pulling the ankles. Oh no, you know what? I reckon I don't. You know what? As well, I've just noticed more differences between the two. So the seams down the side on the Legacy goes straight down, but then it splits around the knee and then it kind of has two seams all the way down to the ankle. But because the Rosa leggings have the pockets, the seams have to be kind of different because they have to stitch the pockets into the seams. So the seam here from the waistband is straight but then once it hits the bottom of the waistband it splits and holds the pocket and then that joins in there then that seam goes all the way down to the ankle so they are slightly different in other ways too but they do have rosa leggings without pockets so there must be some form of differences because otherwise they would just make the one type of legging but as i was saying so I believe they like the same level of compression. Yeah, they must be like exactly the same level of compression because they don't feel any different to me. But for some reason, these ones just feel slightly softer. I, maybe it's the color, like maybe because the, the materials are slightly, slightly different, even though they're like the same. I have no idea what, like, I honestly, guys, I just can't even tell you. If I find my Onyx black pair of the Rosa leggings, I will let you know down below if they are as soft as the Nebula ones or if they are the same level of softness or like smoothness as the Onyx black legacy leggings. These ones just feel like slightly silkier. They're both incredibly soft, but these ones just feel silkier for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why that I could just be completely insane, which is quite possibly likely to be honest with you. But anyway, that was the only pair of leggings that I bought. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I should mention as well, they are seamless on the front. So you don't have the seam that goes straight down right into the, the goo. So you don't have to worry about that riding up into your clacker, as my mum would say. But what am I saying? Like my brain is all over the place today. So those are the legacy leggings. And as I said before, I wore them to the gym the other day and they were so comfortable. Like I wore them a few days in a row. I don't know how many times you're supposed to wear your leggings before you wash them, but usually I use mine for like however many times I go during the week. So I wore them for quite a few times at the gym and they were very comfortable and I really liked working on them. And I felt like I looked good. Not that I was really looking at my butt, but I'm pretty sure my friend complimented me on them. I think she did. So I feel like, I feel like she said that my butt looked good in them. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, don't quote me on it. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not dreaming that up. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on, shall we? So next up, I got something that I already had, but I got it in a different colorway. I got the Odyssey wrap skirt in terracotta. It is in the Nimbus fabric, which is actually so freaking soft and just so comfortable. So this skirt, I actually bought the black one when it first came out with the beach collection. And so it's meant to be like a sarong sort of thing, but I wore it to my friend's engagement party and I thought it looked awesome. And I wore it with like a black kind of crop top that has like a little twist in it and it looked so good my friends kept complimenting me on my outfit they told me that I looked really sophisticated that was the word that I used so it's just like such such a lovely skirt and I loved the terracotta color this was my favorite color that they released in that collection and I got the shorts that they released in that collection in the terracotta color but because I loved the skirt so much when I wore it last time and I loved this color so much when it went on sale I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy it and this one I don't think I'll be wearing out oh I might wear it out to go out to dinner in summer and stuff like that I don't know if I'd wear this color to like full-on events I guess it depends what you wear it with like whether you style it up or down but the black one definitely looks a bit more dressy just because there's black and I think black's easier to dress up usually rather than like a sort of like dusty pinky brick sort of rosy color that is just stunning 
So that's the whole reason I bought this, just because I was so obsessed with the color and I was so obsessed with that skirt. And I'm planning on more wearing this like quite casually, I think, like to the beach, like how it's pictured on the website. <laughs> so that is how I'm planning on wearing it. But you can see it is absolutely stunning. It has this twist sort of like tie up feature at the front here that is just so flattering on the stomach area like I don't like wearing tight things on my stomach and anything with a tie usually I don't like putting ties on my stomach because it makes me feel like I notice it more but for some reason on this skirt like it just looks so stunning and flattering like I just really like it I will say though it does have a split up the side which is gorgeous but I noticed when I was wearing it at the engagement party, it is a very high up split. So that is one thing to think about. If you don't want to be showing that much leg, you might not want to get this skirt, especially if you're wanting to wear it for a night out or whatever, and you don't feel comfortable showing off a lot of leg. My leg was like constantly on show up to like a certain height. It was like mini skirt height, I think, where the split comes up to. So it is an absolutely gorgeous skirt, but if you do not feel like showing off a ton of skin on your legs, it will show off one side of your legs skin yes that is just something to keep in mind you do show off a lot of leg on one of your legs so and i think it's the right leg from memory anyway <laughs> and this actually doesn't even have a logo on it as far as i can see it does not have a buff bunny logo on it but anyway <laughs> Let's move on. So that is the final piece of clothing that I got. But in this sale, they actually had a really good discounts on their accessories. So I went a bit crazy and bought some accessories. So I got two glute bands. So I actually purchased one of these the first time that I ever bought from Buff Bunny. That fateful day when I first bought my Rosa sports bra and Rosa pocket leggings and fell in love with the brand. But I also bought the heavy glute band, which I thought the band that I had at home already was like medium. So I was like, oh, let's upgrade to heavy because I could probably do heavy. And when I put it on, I was like, oh God, this is like really, 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 really high resistance. So I haven't used it. And I honestly, for the life of me, cannot find where the hell I put it in my room. So this time I bought the light one and the medium one in the exact same pattern because they are just so freaking cute. Like they have really cute glute bands, but like I love florals and I love purple. Look at it. Like, I, is that not just absolutely adorable? These material ones, I feel like they're quite, like, that's so strong, you see? No wonder I couldn't do anything with the heavy one. But <laughs> I really like them. I think they're very good quality as well. And I think they were, like, $11 or something like that in the sale. Like, so they were so cheap as well. Like, very affordable glue bands. That one was the light one, too. I'm so strong, guys. <laughs> I have used them, I think, a few times now to work out, or maybe just once. I can't remember. But I did really like them too. Like, they work really well. well especially that medium one. One day I will be able to use the heavy one. It'll probably be when I find it. When I find it, I'll finally be ready. Okay, let's move on. So, as I was saying, accessories. I got two bags. <laughs> I know, two. Two freaking bags. Oh, but they were like almost 50% off or like they were 50% off. I can't even remember, but I will show you the little one first and then I'll show you the big one. So this bag is called the Game Changer Wallet in the shade Voyager, which is just like an absolutely adorable, like navy blue shade that just like will go with everything. And it comes with this gold chain and it has like gold zips as well and a gold buff bunny like metal logo and all the zips actually have the buff bunny logo on them as well which is just a really nice touch so you zip it up like this right but the chain dangles down so like the zip is facing down which is like weird but like obviously they have high confidence in their zips so hopefully that's okay but it's actually like a wallet but like it's a bag. So you can actually fit your phone in here and you can pop all your cards in here. They have a space for a pen and they even have this like like ID, like little purse and like with a zip pocket here that actually comes out and is detachable. So if you wanted to use a smaller bag, you could just put your like most important cards in here and your money in here and then chuck this in a smaller bag. Like say if you're going for a night out and you didn't want to take this, even though this isn't really that big. So I don't know why 
you would care. Unless maybe you wanted, like, I don't know, to put this in your other game changer bag, like the one I'll show you in a minute. But <laughs> I just think, like, there's so much in these accessories, like, they, they think about, like, these are made by women, like you can tell, because they're like, oh, what if it had this? What if it had this, you know? Which is awesome. These chains are also removable, like they hook in, they clasp. So you can pop it inside instead and just clip it in here. And if you don't want the chain on your bag, you can actually just chuck it in here. Like you can store your chain inside the little purse. So like if you're putting it away as well, you're like, you don't have to worry about like the chain getting damaged or anything like that. You can just chuck it in there as well. It's like a chain that attaches your wallet to your bigger wallet, which is awesome. It's like kind of like a travel wallet size as well. So, you know, if you were going on a train or if you're going on a plane, you can pop your passport in here. You can pop your, you know, tickets in here. Like it's got the big pocket for the tickets and stuff like that and you've even got a pocket like a little pocket on the outside that you can just chuck your phone in or anything like that anything that you urgently need but also your phone does fit in the main part of this as well which is just freaking awesome like honestly I feel like I'm going to use this so much because I'm like what do I need you know like my phone I can put all my cards in here, all my money in here. Like I don't have to carry a smaller purse for it. And I can chuck in my hand sanitizer. I can throw in like a pen if I need to, or you know, what I'm probably gonna use the pen holder for is actually probably going to be a lip gloss holder or a lipstick holder which is just as important as carrying around a pen. It just comes with so many things that like are so useful. So like, why wouldn't I buy it if it was like pretty much 50% off? You know, why? <laughs> also, it comes in like the nicest packaging, like, like this fancy luxurious box that it's just like, you know, it's like a drawer. Like how nice is that? I will say mine did get a bit damaged in transit though, but luckily it came in a hard box so my wallet didn't get damaged. But anyway, let's move on to the big bag. Boom. So guys, this is the Game Changer bag in Onyx Black, of course. That is, I'm pretty sure, always what the black shade is called in Buff Bunny. And mine is dirty, sorry, it's been sitting on the floor. So to start off with, we have the Buff Bunny collection gold embossed on the front there and then we've got the gold hooks that hold the handles on the bag which is super lovely we also have this little pocket here it's not zipper sealed or anything but i'm guessing that's like a quick access phone pocket there and on the inside we have so many pockets so many pockets people so we've got a space for your laptop or anything like that you need that comes with a like magnetic hook clasp with two different locations that you can put it so if you make it thicker it doesn't have to go super tight you can like have it slightly looser so that's awesome we also have two loose pockets in here and one zip up pocket here so that many pockets how many pockets is that one two three four five well, there's like five sections altogether inside the bag, which I think is pretty freaking cool. Even the internal zip has the Buff Bunny logo on it, which is crazy. Like, so much freaking detail. I forgot to mention, it also has a zip at the bottom and, and it has a compartment for you to put your lunch and stuff in when you're going to work. So it will keep it cool or it'll keep it warm depending on what you put in there. But isn't that just freaking awesome? It's just so thoughtful. Like, look at this space. And if you don't want to use it, you just close it on up and smush it down. So then you have more space to put your things that you want in this compartment. Isn't that crazy? Like, it is just so thoughtful. I can't get over it, <laughs> how thoughtful it is. But also, ah, my light. I've lost one of my lights. Sorry. Okay. Hopefully that is the same level of lighting that I just had. <laughs> okay. But also, it came in a lovely, like, silky sort of bag, like a zip or a, one of these bags. I can't remember what they're called. Like a pull-in bag. But it has the Buff Bunny logo on it as well, which is just so nice. Like, even the bags and the boxes that the bags come in are nice, you know? It's just such, like, nice touches. Nice feminine touches that make this brand just so nice to buy from. So that is why I spend so much freaking money on this brand. So 
I don't know how many more of these videos I'm going to be able to do because I am like running out of wardrobe space and money spending it all on active wear but we'll see because I do enjoy buying it and I do enjoy trying it on and wearing it especially now I do have a gym membership now you probably noticed me talking about going to the gym all through this video but I think in one of my previous videos I was contemplating getting a gym membership because a few of my friends go to this gym near me and they were all like you know, telling me to sign up so that I could go with them. And now I have signed up and I go with them a lot. And it's actually really fun because like I can do classes and stuff, which is really cool. I've done a few classes now, but also I like just going and working out. And there's so many machines, like the machines help you work out, which is really cool. But anyway, like it's just like, I think it's a bit more exciting than, you know, just like lifting dumbbells at home, which is what I've been doing for like the last two years. But also now I have a place to wear my expensive ass active wear collection. So... Thank goodness for that. Also, there's a possibility that I'm going to be contemplating getting a gym membership in a video that I have already filmed that I haven't posted yet, so I apologize if that is the case. But anyway, guys, that is the end of my Buff Bunny haul. This one. Hopefully there will be at least one more, if not two. That latest collection that they're coming out with looks damn cute. But anyway, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the activewear or accessories, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you would like to like this video or subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that too. And hopefully I will see you soon. Oh, whoops. That's not one that I got from this sale. Whoops. Eh? So the Monarch, so this Monarch's side removal, like the side of the best brew. So I've worn the synthesis. This, I feel <laughs> I'm like so bad at this I'm so sorry <laughs> what's the word and if you would like to like this channel and subscribe to it wait <gasps> dang it